your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosteru. Well, we're starting out the month of November this morning on a cold note. 44 degrees right now here in Abilene with clear skies out there. This after a rainy and also cold end to October. But that wasn't just yesterday. That was the story of most of last month. In fact, check out all that blue out there. These are afternoon highs at blue color days that were below average for that day. In fact, we saw three in a row back there in the middle of the month where we set record cold afternoon temperatures. 45, 45 degrees both towards there in the middle of the month. 48 that next day. Otherwise, most of the days last month coming in below normal. And that was helped thanks to, in part, most of that rainfall we saw last month as well, where almost half of October saw a day with at least some measurable rainfall here in Abilene. A couple of those days, in fact, four to five of them saw over an inch of rain in just that 24 hour period. One of them even set a daily record rainfall total of almost two and three quarters of an inch back there in that second week of the month. 14 days with measurable rainfall over the course of October. And again, all that rain really added up. But temperature wise, our average high was only about 73 degrees. That was four and a half degrees below normal for the month of October. Average lows though stayed about right where they should be. So when you factor those two together, our, the whole month entirely only was about two degrees below normal. But the warmest high, we didn't even make it into the 90s once the entire month of October. Only made it into 88 degrees. In fact, that happened four days in a row back in the beginning of October. The coldest temperature was 36 degrees and that temperature actually set a record cold temperature for that day. Rainfall for the month ended over 12 inches. In fact, the rain we got yesterday equaled about three and a quarter inch out of the Abilene Regional Airport, and that pushed us over that 12 inch mark. Again, keeping us the wettest October on record here in Abilene and also keeping us the third wettest month ever in Abilene's history. So it will go down at sure, for sure in the record books. Now, November looks to start out a little bit more mild, although a couple of cold fronts are going to keep our temperatures on a roller coaster, warming back into the 70s by Saturday, falling again on Sunday with another cold front that could bring a chance for rain and thunderstorms on Sunday and then our temperature is going to warm up into Monday before yet another cold front is going to move in to cool us down just a little bit heading into the middle of next week. Temperatures this morning though in the 40s across the big country a very chilly start to our day so be sure to bundle up as you head off to work and school. We're even seeing some upper 30s off to the west. We're going to see hanging on to mostly sunny skies heading into this afternoon mid 50s for your lunchtime. A couple clouds may pass through as we head later into this afternoon but otherwise sky is going to stay mostly sunny up there. Highs only warming to around 60 degrees, which is about 10 to 15 degrees below average for this time of year. And with clear skies tonight and those light winds, we're going to fall back into the mid and lower 40s once again to start our Friday. So tomorrow going to be just as cold in the morning. However, the afternoon going to be back into the 70s with plenty of sunshine. Winds pick up for Saturday ahead of another cold front. That's what's going to bring chances for rain on Sunday in 60s, 70s again by Monday, though, before yet another cold front will keep us in the mid 60s as we head into the middle of next week. All right, it is fall weather out there. We yeah. Broke some records. Maybe we won't break any in November. Hoping I'd be okay. it's a little bit quieter for sure. I